Hello there, my little sleepy time jellies, and welcome to my ASMR art channel. My name is Tanya, and I'll be talking to you guys about this painting tonight, as well as what I would like to show you guys on my channel. First, I wanted to mention the materials that I used to make this drawing. I do have another video that I will put in the annotations above, or the eye cards above, of how I built my watercolor palette. But the one that you can see off to the left side of the painting is what I use to uh, paint this painting. And towards the end, I use gouache and a white jelly roll pen as well as some glittery watercolors for accent details. I did previously start working on this painting um, a couple of days ago, which is why part of it is already completed. So what I wanted to really talk to you guys about for this evening is what I would like to show y'all on my channel. I have a lot of ideas of different art that I want to create, um, not only for my channel, but to put up in my shop. And one of the huge things, one of the biggest challenges that I wanted to do was this alphabet fan art challenge. And I actually originally saw this done by Drawing with Waffles on YouTube. If you love art videos, you should go and check her out. She has um, amazing talent um, and does do a lot of fan art. And she is doing an alphabet challenge where she draws her favorite character starting with each letter of the alphabet and of, co and of course going in order. Um, however, I wanted to kind of change that up a little bit so that it would help me challenge myself. As an artist, I'm always trying to challenge myself, um, better my talent, um, get better at different things, get better at drawing different ages of people. I draw a lot of ladies, so I want to get better at drawing men. Um, I want to get better at drawing the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. And there's just a long list of all these different things that I want to work on. So I was thinking to myself that if I did an alphabet fan art challenge, um, I could challenge myself to do this uh, but not characters, instead of characters, the way that that other artist was doing it, is to do movies or shows instead, starting with each letter of the alphabet. And I help, or I really think that that will help me, because it'll help me um, draw you know, more different types of people, people interacting, different positions, action poses, to kind of really be very inventive and creative with it, kind of like making a poster for that specific show or movie, uh, which I think would be so cool. I'm really excited about that, and um, I really can't wait to do that. Another idea that I have for this channel is yet again uh, to do an alphabet challenge, um, but make illustrations almost like as if they belong in a storybook, like a fairy tale book or a book of fables or something like that. I think that would be really interesting. And with that alphabet illustration challenge, it would be original art, and I would try to fill the picture with, like, let's say the letter A. Yeah, it's the first letter. 
um, fill that picture for the letter A with as many objects or colors or animals or anything, noun, adjective, verb, um, all starting with the letter A so that it would be just jam-packed with all that stuff in there and I think it would just look so cool which I'm really really excited to um, do that challenge as well and I think that that will help me um, also with my drawing skills and trying to improve my drawing skills um, because as an artist I'm always looking to better myself in whatever way I possibly can um, I do like my style, and I do love the work that I produce, but if you don't think that you can do better, then that's almost like a big red flag or a big sign saying that, you know, things are about to plateau, or you're about to feel like you're going to plateau, or that things are going to get a little bit stagnant. So it's always good to know or feel or have the want to better yourself in some sort of way, um, and not just with not just with art, with many aspects. Um, some other things that I've wanted to do is actually redo a whole bunch of old drawings, ones from junior high and high school um, that I used or that I actually all put together in a big scrapbook not that long ago back on my main channel. If you want to see that video then I'll put a link for that as well. Um, it isn't an ASMR video but um, I think you might enjoy seeing the different type of art um, that I've done over the years. So a little bit about the painting that I'm working on today. Um, I had actually had this drawing uh, for a while, and it was pretty much just sitting in the corner, just not colored in or anything like that. And um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to finish it. So I was looking at it, and it was, it was a really weird feeling because I liked the painting, I liked it, maybe not loved, but I definitely liked it. And, um, but I just never had the gumption to finish it. So I was looking at it and I asked myself, you know, what can I change about this drawing? What can I change for me to have the want to fill it in, to paint it, color it, outline it, add all those cute little details and everything? So, um, a change that I made is that she originally had her eyes closed, like she was kind of breathing in the smell of her coffee, because she's a coffee drinker, just like me. <laughs> um, let see, her eyes were closed, but I decided to open them. And another thing was, is that I actually added all of the insects. I added the spider webs in the corners, the rhino beetle, the centipede, the two spiders, and um, the shiny green beetle in the bottom left corner. Um, another thing that was actually keeping me from completing this uh, painting or drawing was not being able to decide on a color scheme. You know, I kept on telling myself, oh, you know, maybe it should be monochromatic, maybe I should do it like an all kind of like sepia tone, maybe it should all be, um, you know, black, white with all the shades of gray in between. Um, I couldn't choose on what colors um, her outfit and her makeup and her bows and jewelry. Um, I wasn't too sure what color to do those. Um, there is a whole slew of things, really, that I just could not decide on. I originally thought of just doing very warm, earthy tones, like red, orange, yellow, uh, you know, obviously green for all the background, uh, like a burnt orange, 
uh, the siennas, the umbers, um, you know, those kind of colors. Very, very warm colors. And if I did decide to use a blue, it would be a very dry and dark blue, like a navy blue. Um, that would be the only other, you know, kind of option that I would give myself. Um, but then I decided to go with uh, this really pretty, like, peachy pink color for her. Um, which I'm glad that I did. I really like the way that it turned out. And um, that was something else that I struggled with besides um, not being too sure about the drawing in the first place was choosing a color scheme for it. And, um, you know, of course it's perfectly okay when working on your own paintings to draw something and put it aside for a while. Like, I had this drawing off to the side for a couple of months. I still have drawings today that I've had for years that I haven't even painted um, because there's one thing or that one thing or something that just, you know, keeps me from completing it. And, you know, sometimes it's so hard to kind of figure out, hey, why why don't I want to complete this? What will make me complete this? And I, I feel that making those, you know, small little edits before I started painting definitely uh, changed my opinion about it and um, but yeah I really like the way that it turned out and something else that I wanted to talk about was what inspired me to draw this drawing in the first place I feel that that's a very popular question that um, artists get is, you know, hey, what inspired you to, you know, draw this drawing in the first place or make that painting? And honestly, I think I was on Pinterest one day and um, I really love Lolita style and I really love Mori girl style, which uh, kind of has a very like sweet, innocent kind of looking uh, feel to that style if you all want to look it up. I um, was just kind of like looking all th through all these pictures on Pinterest of, you know, all these ladies in these cute outfits and everything, and I was just like, you know what? I really want to draw Lolita Girl. She's going to be surrounded by a whole bunch of naturey things, and she will be holding a cup of coffee, of course. Another th none other than a cup of coffee. And, um... Yeah, she kind of just all really fell together, and I, I really like that she, or I really like the way that she turned out, and, um, and of course there's, there's always things that I could work on, something that I want to work a little bit better on is the hair. Uh, the hair in this picture has a very almost doll-like shape or texture or lines to them so um, I definitely want to work on hair and I want to work at uh, I want to work on uh, putting characters in space or in a space that makes more sense that they're not just kind of like sitting in between flat sets, kind of like how a stage play is. Um, I want to maybe have them interacting with their space more. This really does kind of look like um, this girl is sitting in front of a backdrop and she has, you know, this border around her that may or may not have been, you know, photoshopped on her. Um, you know, thinking about it in, you know, more real type terms or situation. And, um, uh, I want, I want to get, you know, better at clothes, hands, um, shadows. There's, there's plenty of things, little sleepy time jellies that I want to get better at with each drawing. And I'm hoping that these challenges that I want to do um, for myself and uh, to show you guys will um, 
will definitely help me um, achieve my art goals. But anyways, little jellies, I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Um, and it was a little bit shorter uh, than my last one, but I do hope that you enjoy nonetheless. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have a certain fandom or fan art character, some sort of pre-existing entity <laughs> uh, of a fictional nature that you would like for me to draw on this channel, please let me know in the comments below. I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful evening and sweet dreams, little sleepy time jellies, and until next time, good night.